you again, Lines. Thanks for joining me today on Victory Kids Online. I'm always so happy to see you. Do you remember what we learned about last week? That's right. We talked about how God created us with a great purpose. No one is here on earth by accident. God created every person with a special purpose. Today, we'll be talking about how God created us to work with others. Let me show you an example. This is my friend Chikit. Chikit is a missionary in Shinigawa, Japan right now. But he is not alone. See, that's him with his team. As a team, they've worked together to set up a church in Japan. In this picture, we see Chikit talking to the new guys in church, while Jolene socializes with the ladies at the back. In this picture, we see Natalie leading worship and singing on stage while Anders takes care of the sound at the equipment table. Everyone in the team has a part to play. Chikit would not have been able to do everything on his own. Because they decided to work on a team together, more people in Japan get to hear about Jesus and worship him. And that's why teamwork is important. Right now, it's our turn to worship Jesus here in Singapore. Come on, let's worship Jesus as a team. Join me as we raise our voices and sing to our King. Can't imagine why without you. Though I walked away, grace came through. You've captured my heart.
humans, it's your boy, Jacob. And it's time to show off some creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. That's right, God made you out of about 30 trillion building blocks that we call cells. And I'm about to use this many building blocks to create the International Space Station. The one I'm making is much smaller. When building a complicated structure like this, it helps to have creative building technique. Some people count out all the blocks and follow the instructions to the letter. I call these people the building block robots. Insert piece 325B into a piece 356-D. Some people can just look at a picture of the International Space Station and know exactly where every little piece goes. These people are called the visionaries. Yes, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. It's picturesque, that piece goes there and we bring that piece in and it comes together. I'm the kind of person who falls into the third category. I use the just wing it technique. I'm a just wing it -er, er person. I mean, come on, these these are toys. They're, they're supposed to be fun. I, ah, how much fun is that? Now let's get creative. But most of all, let's have some fun. Uh, so I don't know. Just give me uh, like 15 minutes. I'll get this all all worked out. Why? I just there's, there's just too many blocks. There's too many blocks. There's there's just, I've, I've been looking. There's this one little gray piece that I need to make it perfect, and I can't find it anywhere. This is this is supposed to be fun. I'm supposed to be having fun, and this isn't fun at all. Wee wee wee. There it is. Oh no! Hold on. Nobody move. I just lost it. There's a little gray piece. <sighs> Clearly I could use a hand here. Probably a few hands. The story today is about a guy who needed a hand and his friends who used their hands and their head to get him some help. They worked together. Say, that's not a bad idea. I've got to make some phone calls. See you in a bit. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Mark, Chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Jesus began teaching and healing in Galilee. He had become so popular that a whole mob of people would show up whenever he entered a town. Oh, my tummy hurts. My donkey has bad breath. Tell me how to get rich quick in my spare time working from home. For a time, Jesus stayed out of the towns in lonely places, but even then people came to him. So. He returned to the town of Capernaum, and word of his arrival spread like wildfire. Stop what you're doing! Jesus is back! Yep, everybody heard the news. Even a man we'll call, um, Bo. He's here! In Capernaum! But Bo couldn't just hop up and see Jesus. In fact, he lay on a mat every single day, unable to walk a single step. So his four friends will all huddle together. You think Jesus could help him? Well, sure! How do we get him up there? We've got arms, we've got legs, we'll carry him. So the four friends each took a hold of a corner of the mat and carried Bo directly through town to the home where Jesus was staying. By the time they arrived at the house, they saw everyone in town crowded inside and jammed around the windows and doors outside. Bo could see nothing but a tangle of legs. Guys? There's no way to get inside. I know. Bo can crowd surf into Jesus. That's uh, one idea. Or, or, or I could tie a couple of foxes together, set their tails on fire, and, and let them loose to make a pathway inside. 
That's also an idea. We could try the roof. Bo? The roof? We're not turning back now. So together, the four friends carried Bo on his mat up the narrow stairs that led to the roof. They could hear Jesus' voice below filtering through the clay roof tiles. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds. But when you plant the seed, it becomes the largest of all. Guys, how does coming up here help? We're closer to Jesus. He's right beneath us. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to raise the roof. Working together, the four friends shifted the heavy tiles until they made a hole in the roof. Below, they could see Jesus. Along with a crowd of confused religious leaders, teachers, and townspeople. The sky is falling! Time to move it. Using ropes, the four friends picked up Bo's mat again and slowly lowered him down through the hole in the roof. And I'm free, free falling, no! Don't worry, we got you, Bo. Everyone below scrambled to get out of the way as Bo's mat came to rest on the floor right in front of Jesus. Um, hi? It seemed as though everyone in the room held their breath as Jesus looked up to see the four friends peering down from the hole in the roof. Jesus could see the deep faith that had led them to bring their friend to him. Then Jesus looked down at Bo and smiled. Son, your sins are forgiven. <gasps> the religious leaders were shocked. Though no one said a word, they were practically screaming inside their heads. What? That's evil. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking. If Jesus could forgive sins, he was claiming to be God. Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk? Huh, fat chance of that. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. From above, Fred, Mary, Pip, and Sam all watched in fascination as Jesus turned back to Bo. Get up, take your mat, and go home. Every eye in the room turned from Jesus to Bo. For the tiniest moment, Bo hesitated. Then, he sat up. With growing confidence, he swung his legs around. And then, he scrambled up to his feet. <laughs> up above, his friends cheered. Huzzah! Oh, you go, Bo! Bo took a step. A hop. A leap! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As the crowd watched in amazement, Bo picked up his mat and danced right out of that house. People moved aside faster than if Bo had been a, a fox with its tail on fire. I've never seen anything like it. Well, bless his heart and praise the Lord. Bo had been healed by the power of God and because his friends had worked together to help bring him to Jesus. You can accomplish a lot when you're being creative. You can cure diseases. You can design buildings. You can build an international space station out of blocks. Pretty amazing, right? But here's a little secret. You can almost always accomplish more by being creative with others. Other people can help you come up with ideas you've never had before. Other people can help you put your ideas to work faster and better than you can do on your own. And just like in our story of the friends who helped the man who couldn't walk, other people can help solve your problems. And when the problem's too big, other people can lead you to Jesus. No problem's too big for him. When we're creative, we reflect who God is to the people around us. And when we work with others, when we use our unique creative techniques with the unique creative techniques of other people, we can really show the world how uniquely creative God is. That's the one thing to remember today. God created you 
to work with others. You know, I didn't build this thing all by myself. I called in a bunch of people to help. Some were building block robots, and some were visionaries. And some, like me, brought the fun. And we were just winging it, man. Wee! Just kidding. I'll see you next time. Can you think of more stories in the Bible where God did miracles through teamwork? Let's see. Moses and his brother Aaron worked together to speak to Pharaoh so the Israelites could be set free. Peter and John were together when they prayed for the crippled man to be healed. Barnabas and Paul worked together to teach new followers of Christ the Word of God. Lastly, Priscilla and her husband Akira were tent makers who helped to establish the early church. These are just some examples. I'm sure you can find many more in the Bible. Teamwork is so powerful. When we work together, we can accomplish more things. Let's take a look at today's activity pages and see what else we can learn about teamwork. Here's a list of things that are great on their own, but they can become even better when paired with other things, like pancakes and syrup. Mmm, yum! Match the items on the left to the items on the right that go well with it. In the next activity, we have an incomplete puzzle. Some pieces are missing, so we can't really see the picture well. We need to cut out the puzzle pieces from the second page and paste it to, the, to complete the puzzle. Just like this puzzle, we need to include every person in our team in order for things to work. Let's not leave anyone out. Sometimes, working together requires us to lift someone up. Do you know of someone who is going through a tough time? Let's take this opportunity to draw or write something that can help cheer that person up. Once you're done, you can cut out along the dotted lines and pass it to them. Lastly, think of a friend who does not know Jesus and write his name over here. Then, think of two other friends that you can work with to show this friend Jesus' love. It could be inviting them to VK online, buying them a birthday gift, or simply just spending time doing something fun together. End off with a prayer asking God for more opportunities to show your friend Jesus' love. I believe God can use you to tell someone about Jesus. What are you waiting for? Let's go!
I hope you enjoyed learning more about teamwork because I definitely did. Remember, God didn't create us to be alone. He created us to be with others. More importantly, He created us to have fellowship with Him. Our relationship with Jesus is the most important relationship. If you do not have a relationship with Jesus, you can say this prayer with me and invite Jesus into your heart. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, I want you in my life. Forgive me of everything I've done wrong and make me a new person. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross for me and you rose again. Right now, you are living in my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for me. Today, I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. I'm so happy you said that prayer with me. Jesus is now living in your heart. You can grow your relationship with Him by praying and talking to Him every day. You can also learn more about Him with us every week on Victory Kids Online. Now, it's my turn to pray for you. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, you are great. There is no limit to your creativity. You have created us in your image and to reflect you and your love to others around us. Just like our four friends in today's story, we learned that we can do so much more together than we could by ourselves. Help us to work well with others. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. One last thing before we go. There is one very important group of people that we need to work with. Missionaries. We can work with missionaries by supporting them through giving and by praying for them. They could really use your help. Join us for small group online later and we will tell you more. I heard that you will get a chance to meet some real life missionaries at small group today. Wow! So don't miss it! Bye!